large crowd has gathered at a central Kentucky church to begin saying goodbye to a fallen officer. Lexington Police Officer Brian Derman died last Thursday after being hit by an SUV on North Limestone. Police say a hit-and-run driver was responsible. And tonight, many people are paying their respects at Officer Derman's visitation. Our Elizabeth Dorset is live now in Jessamine County with more. Elizabeth. Sam, certainly a number of folks have been making their way in and out of Southland Christian Church, and understandably, a lot of those folks are, in fact, in uniform. Now, Officer Brian Derman's body was accompanied by a procession from the funeral home to Southland Christian Church, where friends, family members, and others in uniform could say goodbye. His wife, Brandy, and their four-year-old son, Braden, stayed close by as they went into the church where the family attends. A steady stream of people has been coming and going since about 3 o'clock, paying tribute to the officer who loved his job. Derman died Thursday after being hit by an SUV at North Limestone and Alabama Avenue. Brandy Derman says she met her husband back in 2004 while they were both in the Air Force. She says Brian, a decorated staff sergeant, always knew he'd come back to Lexington after several tours in the Middle East to become a police officer in his hometown. He wanted to be a police officer because there's just so much crime and so many things that happen in the world that shouldn't be happening. And he wanted to make sure that he had a part in making the world safer for Braden. Brandy Derman says she's grateful for the outpouring of support from the Lexington Police Department as well as the community. The visitation here at Southland Christian Church ends at 8 o'clock. Live in Lexington, Elizabeth Dorsa, WKYT 27 News First. And we'll have more coverage of that visitation tonight on 27 News First at 11. The funeral for Officer Derman will begin at noon tomorrow, also at Southland Christian. After the service, a procession will take him to his final resting place at Bluegrass Memorial Gardens. The route will go through much of Lexington, as you can see from this map. We'll have more on that as well at 11, but more than 100 intersections will be blocked off during that time. A fund has been set up for the officer's family. Details are on our web channel at WKYT.com.